this is the first log entry log entry for my uh, dime action sleeping schedule so um, if you don't know what this is uh, just check out polyphasic sleeping schedules online but um, my video is just going to imply you, you know what I'm talking about so I've been keeping a log actually about uh, like kind of what state of mind I'm in after each nap and what I've decided to do was I'm gonna post a video up like next week after I've done seven days and so for my first video um, I'll just give like kind of an introduction to how I got into this so first what I did was I took one week of preparation. I've been getting eight to nine hours of sleep every night. Uh, sometimes more. I just toss around in the bed till like 11. Um, so for the first week, all I was doing was just cutting down as much sleep as I could. I'd wake up and I'd get out of bed right away. And I stopped. Um, I stopped writing in my dream journal. I just I, I put everything aside to just minimize the amount of sleep I was getting and prepare for um, for the polyphasic schedule. And then jumping in, what I had done was actually uh, found out most people, they do it the other way around. But what I did was I did my monophasic schedule and then stayed awake all day. And then when I would have gone to bed at 1230 or, or whenever, that, that's when I started my polyphasic schedule. And I just did the, the first nap of the dime action, um, of the dime action uh, timing. So what ended up happening was I kind of, I started on empty and then slowly recharged. So I was very sleep deprived, but it would go down with each consecutive nap. What I'm seeing most other people trying to do online was the opposite. They do a full night of sleep and then start their dime action schedule like right away in the day. And they're not even able to, to, to fall asleep for their nap because they're not tired at all. And, uh, Anyways, so, so far right now, I'm on halfway through day two. My next nap is in an hour. And what I've decided to do was instead of taking 30 minute naps, I started with one hour naps and I'm actually kind of adjusting a little bit already and I'm starting to fall asleep quicker. So now I just set my timer for 45 minutes and it usually takes about five minutes to fall asleep. And my last nap where I actually woke up during a dream was pretty cool. Um, so, so that's, that's where I'm at now. Uh, in terms of sleep deprivation, the first nap was killer. I, I was awake for like an hour and I was just kind of forcing everything I had to stay awake. It was just, uh, and then I, I just kind of had to sit there and close my eyes, but stay awake. I, I'm just trying to be really dedicated with it. But, um, no, after that, now, like, it's getting a lot better. My 6.30 nap this morning was um wasn't bad at all that that was the one where I was in a dream where I where I woke up and um so I've only been feeling a little bit sleep deprived it's kind of about 2 hours before my nap I feel like I have to have my nap now and then I kind of recover and then when it's nap time again I'm I'm just like dozing off again so that that's kind of convenient and aside from that what I'm using actually is this Android app called uh, I think it's Uber Sleep or yeah Uber Sleep and this is what it looks like and it's excellent it has caused me to sleep through nothing basically the way the alarm works is it'll it'll ring like a normal alarm and you have to swipe it to turn it off and if you don't keep moving the phone around for the next full minute, it'll turn on again. So if you turn the alarm off and then just fall asleep, you, it's not going to work. You literally have to get out of bed or shake the phone around for a whole minute or do what you got to do. But it, uh, it definitely works because sometimes I notice I'll set my alarm for 45 minutes and I'll wake up 53 minutes or something like that. Um, well, sometimes I've had six naps. Okay, it's <laughs> I'm just jumping in. But um, 
The only one other thing I've noticed was that I'm feeling a lot colder. My my body is physically colder during the day, so I, I've started wearing a few more clothes. And I think this is just because I'm still in the adaptation phase. I'm pretty sleep deprived. I know I probably don't show too much, and um, I'm actually really impressed with how little sleep I've gotten, and this is actually working. But uh, no, it's um, you know you're eating a lot more food. Uh, this is using a lot more electricity too. I'm awake all night. Um, it is great because I'm more productive. The first night I had no idea what to do with my time, but I prepared for last night and I was able to do some drawing, watch some cool YouTube videos, um, get some more, uh, re read up more on polyphasic sleeping, some actual scientific information about it. And um, so all in all, I'm saying things are going very smoothly. Uh, right now, my job is only one day a week, so I don't really have much in the way to screw up what I'm doing. But um, it's kind of like most people I'm reading about online were messing up right from the start. And I, I'm not really sure why exactly, but I'm, I guess I'm just thinking it's the little things like they would start off with a full night of sleep so that you're on a full tank trying, and then each consecutive nap is just going to be worse and worse and worse. Me, it was the reverse. I was super tired and I fought through it. So by the third nap, I was like, oh man, now I'm, now I can keep going. <laughs> that was not bad. And then uh, I have this app. A lot I'm seeing, you know, so many other people trying to do Uberman, trying to do um, Dime Action, where they're uh, they're sleeping through and it's screwing everything up because when they get three hours, then they don't need their next nap, and then it, it, it just it doesn't work like that. So uh, no, it, it's working perfectly for me right now. Again, I'm, I'm still not adjusted, so I'm I'm feeling a little weird. Sometimes I'm I'm pretty tired, uh, but it it, it kind of goes in waves, and I'm not deliberately forcing myself to be physically active in order to stay awake because I am timing my schedule right now so that when I start university in three weeks, I'm going to be able to maintain it and just continue where I left off. Well, not just continue it through. So I'll have a little bit of like kind of a, a nap I'm going to have to move around in the middle of the day. But other than that, it should be fine. So I'll, I'll just see how it goes. This is totally a learning process. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to maintain this. But... Um, Really, I would recommend if anybody uh, has kind of the willpower to try this, it's definitely worth it. I'm just thinking so much about how more productive you are because typically you get, what, six to eight hours of sleep a night. Now I'm getting, uh, it, it would be like, I think yesterday I got about four and a half hours or something like that. I'm going to try to bring it down to three. And so far today I've been consistent with that. Um, for my first nap, I only did 45 minutes. I, I think I went over it a little bit. It was like 53 minutes or something, but uh, I wrote it down here, actually. Uh, uh, 55 minutes, yeah. So, I mean, it, it's not too big of a deal, but um, I'm going to try to get it down to three hours per day. And what this does is it gives me loads of additional hours in my day where I'm awake and I can be doing stuff and furthermore when you split your day up into like four little days there's so many more benefits because when I, I like right now I know I have to sleep in X time of minutes so I just finish what I'm doing I'm thinking okay what can I get done in this block or if I'm already doing something I'll, I'll do it to finish it kind of thing and then um, you, uh, you, you have to stay strict with the schedule. So if you sleep in, you screw it up, and if you skip your nap, you screw it up. So I'm thinking that by doing this, uh, you're, you're actually going to, I mean, you're, you're never going to sleep in. So how is that, how is that a bad thing? You'll, just, you'll be so much more productive. So you're always going to be waking up on time, and... I mean, I just kept thinking of the benefits of this. It's crazy. Uh, like, uh, of course, I would go blank when I'm recording nine minutes in, and I can't pause it. <laughs> uh, it's like you, yeah, lucid dreaming. 
This was, I didn't even know this was a thing. Every time I bang my desk, uh, camera goes all over the place. <laughs> Are you having fun, Aaron? Yeah! <laughs> okay. But for lucid dreaming, because when you're sleeping at night, it's really difficult to remember the dreams before your last dream. So if you wake up and remember all five of your dreams or something, I mean, great, but that's really hard to do. But when you wake up after every dream, Perfect, right? And I've heard of tons of people that they don't even care about their dream stuff, and they try their polyphasic sleeping schedule. Um, and I, I guess Uberman would be the ultimate one. But uh, know that you just get out of body experiences, lucid dreams. I mean, your dreams just become really incorporated with your day. And I think when I get adapted to the Dimaction schedule, this is just going to fly off, and it's going to be great. Um, anyone who really knows me knows I'm really serious about lucid dreaming, and I, uh, I, I put a lot of research into this kind of information. But um, so when I found that out, I was like, man, this is great. That is so cool. But uh, yeah, so other than that, I'll have a video up next week with um, with the past seven days, just kind of a general consensus of what's going on, how I'm feeling in the head, am I adapted? Is this working? Can I maintain it? Uh, the reason why I started yesterday was because on Wednesday I work a shift that is not going to work at all with my sleeping schedule. And so I'm going to see, I'll be able to tell you in the next video how that played out. Um, I'm probably going to try to take a nap before and a nap after and then go back to the normal timing so I'll just be a little bit tired at work. Who knows what will happen. But uh, yes, yeah, so far so good. Day one and a half down. Wish me luck. <laughs>